All right, coming to the stage right now, a very, very good friend of mine, extremely talented. The show is going to go up step by step. Please put your hands together. In incredibly funny, my man, Mr. Jamie Roberts. Oh. Yeah, you can turn that up. You can turn that up. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all feeling good? This looks nice, man. This sure looks nice. A bunch of old people. Okay, all right. Not that old. Not that old. Kind of like Shadow Nightclub old. That's what it's... That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's a little Shadow Nightclub-ish up in here. If you're, yes, I did. You know about the Shadow Nightclub, right? You gotta be 85 years old to get in the Shadow Nightclub, right? If you're 88, they're like, go home, young boy, you're too young. What you doing in here? Uh-uh. Everybody in the Shadow Nightclub dressed like Steve Harvey, right? They're going three-piece suit and tails. He's got tails on that suit. And a cover bun, are you serious? Every Saturday, Easter Sunday up in, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, some weird-ass announcements at the Shadow Nightclub, right? Like, uh... Can I get a Ciroc, uh, Ciroc and prune juice to the DJ booth, please? Can I get a Ciroc and prune juice? I'm like, uh, Miss Pearl, you're accessorized outside. Miss Pearl, you're accessorized outside. <laughs> if you don't know what accessorized is, that's the old people Uber right there. They use that shit for everything, right? Be a line of accessorized outside, right? <laughs> they use it for everything. <laughs> At three o'clock in the morning, Nanny going to come here to get some steamed crab legs. Beep! Wake you out of your sleep, man. <laughs> it's true though, man. That's where I went my that's where I met my old woman at. Yeah, I'm dating. Dating an older woman, which is like, hell yeah. There's a difference between dating a younger woman and an older woman. Like y'all young women, y'all have a vagina. You get what I'm saying? An older woman, she has an agenda. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> you could date a young chick for like some Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce tickets on the run. Tag me on Instagram. That dumbness right there, right? We date an older woman, she's like, listen, young boy, Angie you come in here Thursday and help me take this AC out of the window. I'm like, what? You got chores for me? Are you serious? She like, I'm gonna hold on to you till the summer, help me mow this grass. I'm like, okay, I guess we go together now. You damn right, we go together. How much is your maintenance? You, how much is your maintenance? Two different worlds, man. The young chick send you a text message in the middle of the night, they'll stop by CVS, pick up some condoms and a bottle of wine. Be gonna have a good night. I'm like, all right. Your old woman sent you a text when you'll stop by CVS. Pick up this prescription. I'm like, prescription? <laughs> In the box of Metamucil. Like, Metamucil? That's how you spell Metamucil? Are you serious? I had no idea that's how you spell Metamucil. I don't think I'm coming over anymore. I didn't know you wasn't regular. I don't think I'm coming over anymore. It's gonna be a shitty night for somebody. I'm gonna stay my black ass home. That's why I'm, I'm gonna stay home. I am not coming over there. <laughs> Truth though, man. She has an Audi belly button, which is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Ladies, if you have an Audi belly button, let a man know that right now, all right? <laughs> Tag us on Instagram, put it as your profile picture. We need to know that right now. We don't want to find out when it's too late, right, fellas? It's all dark. You're kissing her on the neck. You're making your way down like, <laughs> what the hell is this? Baby elephant tusk, what the hell am I? <laughs> What's supposed to do with that? your baggy ass belly button. When you just tie it around your waist, do something. Tuck it in, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. I can put a towel down, I'm supposed to do with a hernia. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know if Obamacare covers that. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's my life though, man. She keeps a dirty ass house too, which is like my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> You ever go to somebody's house to ask you to take off your shoes at the door? I'm like, uh, I'm not taking my shoes over here. You crazy? You got dog shit in the living room. Why you don't even have a dog? Why do you got dog shit in your living room? I need bags to put on my shoes to walk around this nasty ass house. You got some bags for my sneakers? I can't walk around this nasty ass house. I got my cleats in the car. I'm put my cleats and walk around this nasty ass house. This is disgusting in here. What are you doing in here? <laughs> it's the truth though, man. You can always tell how dirty somebody's house is by their microwave, right? You ever look at somebody's microwave? Like, what was you warming up in here? It's black as hell. What was you pouring? What is going on? Everything you put in there come on smell like popcorn. Like, listen, fam. 
I put chicken in here. I ain't some popcorn chicken. What is this nasty? What in the world is... <laughs> they always got that cheap-ass running center furniture, right? They always got that running center furniture. Oh, some black people act like you don't know what running center is. Okay. White people, if you don't know, that's the black people, Raymond Flanagan. That's what we... We go to running center for everything. Somebody running a toaster oven right now for $9.99 a week. <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> Red <Renna> Santa. <laughs> you gotta put eight references down for Red Santa too, right? <laughs> you miss one payment, they calling everybody on that list. You seen Jamie, he missed his payment. $9.99 for the rest of his life. So weak. She got that cheap ass furniture, man. She wanna have kids, I'm like, come on, man. You 62 years old, we ain't having no damn kids. You got old eggs, I got old sperm. Mess around, have an old baby, you know what I mean? The baby born like 15 years old, you know what I mean? Just slide the vagina with a pair of Jordans on in the book bag, ready for the first day of school, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, cut this cord, cut this cord, I'm trying to get to class. Like, you can talk, you was just born. You got all your teeth on you, are you serious? <laughs> I'm trying to get the class, I'm trying to get the class. <laughs> it's the truth though, man. You ever see a baby with an old face though? That is hilarious. You ever see a baby with an old face? Like he's stressed out, like yo fam, you just got here. Why are you so stressed? They gonna repossess your tricycle? Why are you so stressed? They gonna foreclose you on your crib? What is wrong with you? You see titties every day, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk a lot about sex because I'm a man, you know what I mean? And as men, we are always horny, right, fellas? We are always horny. Doesn't make a difference where we are. We could be at a funeral, we are thinking about sex, right? Like, it's a damn shame how Joey got shot. Like, yeah. But you see his sister's titties? <laughs> Up by the casket? Oh my God! The way they were bouncing when she was crying? Did that say I did it? She's wearing the hell out of that dress. Did you see her dance? <laughs> That's what we're talking about in the back of the funeral home. Like, yo, she's fine. She's fine as hell. I'm gonna go comfort her. Anything you need, Ma, anything you need. It's dirt bag. <laughs> we dirt bags with it. Truth though, man, I got kids. I got a 12-year-old boy right now. He's taking three showers a day. He's coming out, his back is dry, his neck is dry. All oh, the towels is crunchy. I'm like, what the hell is going on in there? If you haven't figured it out, he's figured it out. That's what's going on. He's in there beating off, coming out exhausted. And he wants to use my phone. I'm like, uh-uh, I don't want to see your kids on my screen yet. Nah, I'm not ready to meet my grandkids that fast. No, no, no. You need to wash your hands before you come to this table. That's what you need to do. It's your nasty ass. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me the other day, though. I was like, Dad, Dad, I want to watch Puss in Boots. I was like, wait a minute. You sound like you need to stay out of Dad's collection to me. That's what it sounds like. Because I don't know about child, but Puss in Boots sounds like a porno where the girl keeps on her Uggs the entire DDE. I'm like, are you serious? Puss in Boots is a porno? Are you serious? Grew up on real cartoons, like Popeye. Remember Popeye? Popeye was the first person to smoke weed on TV and get away with it, right? You telling me you putting spinach in the pipe? Get the hell out of here, are you serious? You expect me to leave you chewing this? Get the hell out, are you serious? He had the giggles in there and the act, 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 like this dude's getting high, nobody's paying attention. Nobody's watching this dude smoke. That's my time everybody, I'm Jamie Roberts, thanks for having me.